okay guys this is the dress we are making this is the front part why this is the back it has a wrap at the front the two side is wrapped is an a-shaped dress you can see the back has a zipper it's cut together with the sleeve and it's somehow off now this dress is technical but it's easy to achieve i will show you an easier way to achieve this kind of dress before you can achieve it you first of all you have to work with your pattern paper first before you can now cut with your fabric now we we'll start with the upper part which is the major part that is somehow difficult when cutting it the first thing you need to do first of all you have to get your half length your bust measurement and your waist measurement that is for the upper part now you need your shoulder measurement because after marking your shoulder measurement then you extend the extra one that will contain the sleeve that's the major thing you need the shoulder the bust and the waist measurement welcome back to my channel my name is charles peace now this is my pattern paper We'll go ahead and cut the half length. Now the length I need is 17 inches. That's my half length, 17. Then I'll add one inch seam allowance. So we're making it 18 inches. This is 18 inches here. Now I'll go ahead and join it with my ruler. Okay, we have gotten the length. The next thing we need now is the shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is 16 divided by 2. Give me 8 inches. This is 8 inches here. I have 8 inches here. And the extension, 8.5 inches. That is all together. Everything is 16 inches. So don't be confused. We have our shoulder measurement 8 inches here. So then I added extra 8.5 inches. You can see that the one that will contain both the sleeve and the shoulder. The next thing, my bust point is 12 inches. So this is 12 inches here. This 12 inches. So I will join it again with my stretch ruler. So we've gotten this line is bust line this one is bust line this is waist line why this is the shoulder line so these are the major measurements we need for this now I'll go ahead and place my bust measurement. My bust measurement is 39 inches. That is the round of my bust. Divided into four will give me 9.7 inches here. Then depending on the material you're using, like the material they use there is a poly material. It used to draw. So if you're using that kind of material, that means you don't need to add too much allowance because it will be excess. So you can go ahead and add maybe one inch allowance. But if you are using a, an African fabric, you can go ahead and add two inches allowance. This is two inches allowance. That's for the bust measurement. Now to the waistline. My waist is 35 inches divided into four will give me 8.8 .8 inches approximately. Now this is 8.8 .8 inches approximately. So now, and you add extra 2 inches. Now I'll join the lines together. This line is for the allowance. This 2 inches allowance. Now, 
to this side. Now for you not to be confused at this part, we will just put the armhole side so that you will determine where this line will meet. So what I will do now, I measured 9 inches. nine inches here so now i'll extend this to this nine inches i'll extend it this line to the nine inches this is the armhole line now you now have to determine how your shoulder how you want it to be remember the normal shoulder measurement is you can use four inches you can use 3.5 now if you look at it you know that it's somehow open at the shoulder side so what i will do now instead of measuring four inches which we normally measure 3.5 by 3.5 something like that what i will do now we already have eight inches here as the shoulder measurement i will just measure 6.5 inches if you check the picture it's open and is a little bit off from the main shoulder so i will mark 6.5 inches that is what i have here total now is 10 inches after cutting i will now determine how i want the front if you want it to be too low if you want it to be high how you want it to be now if you want it to be normal not too high not too low you can go ahead and use maybe eight inches or nine inches this is nine inches here this is nine inches but if you want it to be more low you can go ahead and extend it to how you want it to be so this is nine inches here i'm not going to join it now but i will go ahead from this point now i will extend it to this edge if i now open it up i'll cut out the front the wrapped side so now i'll cut after cutting it this is what we are having now so the next thing i will do now is to draft the wrap so i measured nine inches depending on how but if you look at the picture now you can see the front is a bit lower so you can extend it to the length you want if you want it to be low like this is okay if you want it to be high depending on your choice now you can make it to be a bit lower this is nine we use nine inches i can extend it to 10 or 11 inches depending on how you want it let's use 11 inches because that one is low so that you understand what i mean so i have to run a straight line to match with this 11 inches here Always take note of this center part. It will be necessary because the back part has a zipper. So now we will now extend it from this 11 inches now. Extend it down to this edge. You can see that. Then what I will do now is to cut this part off. I will number this one as number one. I will place it on another paper to duplicate it. And as well, this, with this, I will place it as well. I will use it to get the back piece. Because remember, the shoulder line is not cut. So I will place it like this. And after, I will place it the other way around in order to get the two, two parts what do i mean keep watching let me show you now this is another paper 
So I'll fold it equal into two equal parts. Fold it this way. Now, this place now will serve as our shoulder line. It's not cut. It's on fold. So I'm not going to cut it. It will be like this. So then I'll place it on this paper. First thing, I have to press it with my pen. So after tracing it, this is what I have here. This is what I have here. Now, I'll go ahead and turn it. So now, before I place it now, another important thing we need to mark is the zipper line. This is the middle point here. We have the middle points here very very important and you add your allowance deeper allowance before you cut so this will serve as our zipper allowance then i'll cut this edge off you can see that when you now fold it in, this is what we'll be having. So this is a zipper allowance. Now this part will serve majorly as the front. It will serve as the front. When I now turn it over, I will now get the back. This part now will serve as the back piece. So I will go ahead as well and dress it. So I'll open this up. Okay, now we we'll open it up. Now, this is the shape. So this is the zipper side. Now I will cut it. Now this is what we are having here. You can see that. If you fold it, this is what it should look like. Now you go ahead and mark it as number one. So now we have gotten half of the front and half of the back piece. Why I mark this number one? For you to know that this side is the front. This is the front part. So what you do to cut the number two part, you open it up like this you can see that you fold it and place it on another paper now with this with this you can go ahead and cut on your fabric you will get the front the right part and the left part at the same time so what you do now is to go ahead place the front part and cut Then you turn it over again. This one will be number two. That is the back. You place it. Now I want to cut the second one. I will trace it again. I will turn it over again. Now I can now write this one as the number two. This is the right. Why this is the left. 
this is what we are having here you can see that now this is the front part you can see that you can see the wrap i use the pin to hold it now if you want it to close up here, you can shift it a bit in now this is the front part now this is the back this is the zipper side here so you go ahead and fix your zip now to the down part we've gotten the upper part which is the most important part that is this a request from somebody so to get the down part is very very easy just cut your normal pencil skate and add extra allowance for the down part if you want it to be very loud you can go ahead and add either 15 inches or so at the down part it will flay the way you want it so guys we are done with this thank you very much for watching this is the back this is the front part don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i publish another video i hope this video is helpful please let me know at the comment section watch out for my next video i'll be cutting a nice and a gorgeous style don't forget to always share my videos to your friends bye